Good afternoon, chaps. Hope you're well. Thanks for joining us again on our adventure in India. So, we have now connected with the Great Indian Trail. Um, and we decided to start it in the south in Kony, K O N N I. And the first thing we want to do is have some lunch. So, yeah, it's been quite a nice ride. So busy and lots of built up areas so we're hoping to get into the wild countryside very shortly after a day providing around we're very comfortable now doing everything the Indian way and it's been very exciting riding through India really So you got to have your eyes peeled massively. Well, it's getting harder to communicate with people in English now, and also harder to find a restaurant. And uh, yeah, so we've ended up eating bananas and cake instead. Just stopping to get some water. Look at those two churches in the background. Very pretty. Makes me want to start it up. Get all religious. Well, for the last three miles now, I haven't been recording it, but there's loads and loads of coaches. There's loads and loads of men. A lot of them with no tops on. And I reckon it's some sort of religious festival. They're just miles and miles of these coaches. Must be something here we don't know about. And they're carrying these things on their head. Don't know what that's about. Oh, is whatever they're doing in there. Well, we're not stopping, but anyway. Maybe they're full of ice cubes, those bags, and they're keeping their head cold. No, Helen's the only woman here at the minute. In sight. But they've had a good time. I'm sure if there was an Indian viewer could tell me what this lot's all about. That'd be uh, very nice, thank you. Where are we? I'll let you know we're in a place called Kalakati, beginning with K, Kalakati. I'd better find out myself, wouldn't I? I'd be able to Google it. There's probably a Kalakati festival. Bloody mental. Oh, I uh, <laughs> gave up smoking for a month before I come out. And then me and Helen's <laughs> ball packet, and that was it. The funny thing is, we didn't know for the first five days or six days, maybe, that um, it's illegal to smoke in public. And uh, yeah, no wonder we we were <laughs> been getting funny looks. Well, wow, 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 we can't seem to get a hotel. If they're not fully booked, 
they can't take us in because we're foreigners. Yes, you need to have a license to take in a foreigner. So there's not many tourists around here, why would you apply for a license? It's so regulated. Hey, we have some views for a change. Ah, first waterfall. Hey. Oh, loads of tea around here. Well, we went on booking.com and found one that was, I think it was 20 kilometers out of our way. But anyway, hopefully they speak a bit of English and we, we will ask them if what the other hotel said was true that they need a license because they might might have taken one look at us as bikers and thought no we don't want you in our hotel so that'd be interesting and put my mind at rest for the rest of the journey oh my god it looks really old and weird <laughs> it looks dead <laughs> it looks dead here Or should I say good morning? Hey, let's have a look at this. So this is the Western Ganats, they call it, these, this mountain range. Huge tea plantation. Yeah, so it said private road closed to visitors from 6 p.m. So, looks like we're all right. Oh, this is nice and pleasant. That looks nice, Helen, doesn't it? Yeah, here they are, workers over there, look, picking the tea. So when you have your cup of tea in the morning, yeah. Think about them. Well, it's about six degrees cooler than it, um, up here than what it was down on the coast, so we're lucky. Oh, what are we going to do here? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Both vehicles. Right. Should have gone another way. Ah, yes, um, yes. Oh, well, we paid 200 for each bike for a little tour of a tree plantation. Tree plantation? A tea plantation, I mean. Guess that's not bad. Hello, doggies. Oh, this is what we come here for, it's for this sort of stuff. It's fun riding through a city because it's mental. And you put your racing head on <laughs> when you're in a city. And uh, But this is what we're here for, not, not the cities and all the touristy areas and all that stuff. Quite a lot of tea around here. Wicked. Shade. Wind. And sunshine. <laughs> yeah, it's worth 200 rupees. Yeah, it's a tea factory, Typhoid Tea Factory. Do you see it? We 
we got a Thai food near Saltash, <laughs> just up the road from us, where we live, in Cornwall. Oh, I've gone off track here. We'll have to go back, sorry. Yeah, okay. So I think we go up to the right here, I think. I'll have a trip there. <laughs> we might, yeah, we can do it. There's two ways, but it's just showing us there's a river to cross down there though, but there, there also is one here as well, but yeah, there's a reason uh, we don't go this way. The bridge ends here. Need a bit of speed to go up this. Oh, you might not like it, oh no. I wonder how bad that's gonna get. Oh, unfortunately that uh, mountain road was uh, far too uh, gnarly and technical for us, especially uh, with bikes, especially, well, we got all this weight and Helen hadn't done any green laning for a very long time and I think she would have been okay on her bike without any weight, but um, that, it was, I took a, a long walk up to the top and it was brutal, it was brutal, so, and there would have been no way of getting refreshments. We're low on water, so oh, it's just, it's not our bikes, we're renting them. I think we would have wrecked them if we done it. Potentially had lots of falls, so yeah, we gave it a miss. Chickened out. I think that was the best thing to do. So yeah, we've had heading back through this, uh, oh, what was it? Tea plantation and we get on the main road and get us on to uh, the trail once again but avoiding all these mountain passes because uh, yeah uh, they're certainly not maintained it'd be great like i said if you had your own bike and didn't have the weight it'd be bloody good fun the sort of thing i'd love to do in the uk on a dry day but um yeah it is what it is Hello mate. Beautiful, beautiful. 
Well, wherever you've come to, it's uh, massively busy. Gonna try going out here, Helen. Is there? Big bus, okay. Yeah, it's really busy around here. Tourist, well, I say touristy, touristy for the locals. There's loads of buses. I don't know what there's here. Oh, this don't last for long. Oh my. It is hot now. No kidding, guys. The f***ing traffic around this part of whatever touristy thing it is for the locals or for Indians, it is absolutely mental. With these coaches and everything, they're just bloody small roads and... Uh, you know, there's like, for, for cars anyway, you could be at a standstill for, oh, a good half an hour. I mean, we can get through some of it on these bikes, but not, not all the time. Absolute mental. And this is the, uh, the easiest part. I mean, back there, it is just total, total gridlock. Mental. That we haven't had much luck today. Either the trail was just too difficult or uh, the bloody traffic, mental. Anyway, we're in more peaceful surroundings now. Going back down the mountain we were on. Where are we heading? No idea. It doesn't matter. It's funny, there's so many signs. They're done in English, but probably the people don't around here don't know what they mean anyway. The sacred cow. Oh, it's very jungly around here. Very nice. Oh, we 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 booked a hotel. Yeah, four o'clock we like to then look to see if there's any hotels. There's no way of camping around here. And uh, so, four o'clock we uh, look for a hotel that might accept us. Well, we're just using booking.com, assuming that if it's on booking.com then it will serve foreigners as well. One of the amazing experiences we had in Morocco was all the kids just jumping out in front of you and waving and wanting to slap your hand and all that. Oh, we haven't had none of that here. Could be a bus coming, I don't know, Helen. Someone beeped earlier. Oh no, <laughs> I got vibration on my bike. <laughs> Don't laugh at me, Hannah. I ain't gonna take a picture of you because you're naked. Oh, um, yeah, we finally arrived at our hotel in. Oh God, I just read it. Thadu Pushu, I think the town is called. Anyway, yeah, the first thing you do, right, riding through this heat, is uh, take your kit off. So anyway, we're, we're hanging our kit right out the window and um, yeah I'm going to show you the view we got and look who's looking after us hey eh? good old Jesus boy hey eh? anyway we found ourselves the um, the waste where we put our waste yeah that down there it used to be a balcony, but now it's where you put your waste. Anyway. This 
let's find ourselves a nice place to eat. Thanks very much for watching. See you again. Bye bye.